We did some embroidery. I think I showed you guys. I'm so excited about these. This is my feelings like forecast collection. Coming up for you. Do you see this little dangling claw here? Um, that's Max's claw. Oh, and that's his fur. And guess what? That fur is lying on the entire tree. And that's because he is the naughtiest cat that I have ever had the pleasure of living with. Uh, so we ordered at 4.30. And it got to be 7.30. And there was still no insight into where the where or when this food was coming. I did not realize this was going to be highlighter pink. I'm not mad about it. It's just, I'm not sure if it's going to work for what I wanted. Good morning. It is December 26. We are doing the dishes right now and it's noisy so I apologize. We didn't do anything yesterday. It was Christmas. Literally nothing. It was great. I am sick. Um, I have just like a cold and so I really didn't want to do anything anyways. We did my Christmas with my family. I think I might have filmed that day but it was uh, December 23rd and then we did his family Christmas December 24th. Yeah. door shut because it's noisy um but oh my gosh yesterday I'm gonna be packing up I have a Poshmark order as well someone ordered um or bought this uh White House black market denim dress so that's what I'm gonna be doing while I'm talking to you we I went on DoorDash and there were two restaurants open it was like actual right there was I think some fast food but um Red Lobster and then Great Wall, which is our only Chinese restaurant in town. And I'm like, I'm feeling Chinese. And so we ordered at 4.30. And it got to be 7.30. And there was still no insight into where the where or when this food was coming. And I felt so bad because obviously there's a dasher behind the food. And there's someone that is like <laughs> waiting on your food. And now I don't know for sure like how that works. If she was physically waiting in the parking lot. Because her car looked like it kept moving around. Um, or what she was doing. But I know for a fact she went there multiple times to pick up the food. Because she texted me every night. Like basically every hour being like they think it's going to be another hour. And I didn't realize I could have canceled like after the first hour I did not see a place where I could cancel and for some reason Great Wall was not canceling the order they just weren't making it obviously they were slammed because they were clearly one of two hey. places open hey. maybe there were a few more but at least on DoorDash and so it's I ordered at 4 30 it came to 7 30 and I finally found an area where I could cancel there was like a little help sign, a tiny bit in the corner. Um, I just didn't <laughs> realize that was there. And so I finally canceled because I'm like, this food literally isn't coming. But like, what happens to that order then for the door dasher? I feel, I wish I could have still given her a tip, you know? Because like clearly she was actively trying. She kept asking if I want, I honestly, I told her after the first hour when it was supposed to be ready, because um, she hadn't been waiting an hour. She had, I had like, a scheduled pickup time for 5.30, so that's when she went. She was like, they, they say it's gonna be another hour. And I was like, if it's not ready in 10 minutes, please just cancel it, because I still didn't know I could cancel. Um, and she never did, so I don't know. I'm hoping she was doing other deliveries during that time to make it worth it, or she was like close enough. I don't know, I feel bad. So I hope somehow DoorDash compensates them for when um, companies take like an absurd amount of time but I don't know so anyways that happened yesterday and I'm still craving Chinese but good god the last time honestly the last time we had Great Wall um it sucked so do we really want to get it again probably not not after that experience I also have been working on thank you a new sweatshirt design 
embroidery. I need more embroidery designs. I just, like, I don't love the fact that my embroidery machine, I have the SE1900, which is embroidery and sewing machine, my brother. And it can only do, thank you, a 5 by 7 frame. You can also do a 6 by 12 split design where you do two different sections. But I don't have, like, software to actually make that uh, design. So I'm stuck with a 5 by 7 If any of you are watching and you're like, I'm thinking about doing embroidery, just splurge and get like a baby lock or a, a, just anything that has a, the capability of doing a 12 inch design or at least bigger than five by seven. I am telling you like that is a big, it hinders what I can do because I have so many things where I just want to across the chest and you can't do that. Like you're stuck to a small amount. I'll show an example because this is going to be one of the designs. Um, and while this is like decently big and I'm going to do I'm probably going to do a split, not necessarily a split design, but I'm going to do two different frames within one, sh like, sweater. Uh, but this is, like, the biggest I can get a graphic. That's just not big. But, yeah, I have the whole collection planned out. It, well, am I going to upload this? I feel like this has been chaotic right now. I am going to... Um, it kind of goes hand in hand with my coping skills to an extent. It doesn't have coping skills on this. Um, there's four designs, but it plays hand in hand with them. I'll probably show you like my embroidery stuff um, on music later. See ya. P.S. Um, so it's period week and period week is my best skin week. So like it looks good now. Um, Accutane wise, it has been, I think four days, three or four of like actively taking the pills. And I don't have any symptoms yet, so I'm still waiting on that. I'm not dried out yet. It hasn't uh, obviously taken full effect, so we're still good. No symptoms. And that's all I have to tell you. And now I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. Happy New Year. It is a couple days after. I have not picked up the camera in a while. It kind of feels weird. I have been hard at work today. Did I tell you it's the third? I don't remember. It's Wednesday. Randy goes back to school tomorrow, like back to work, which is sad because I really enjoy when he has breaks. Um, but baby is napping. We did some embroidery. I think I showed you guys. I'm so excited about these. This is my feelings like forecast collection. Originally I was going to like title on the actual garment, uh, feelings forecast and I might do that in the future but with my embroidery uh window uh what do you call it frame I can only do a five by seven design and feelings forecast is just way too long of a word to have in that short tiny amount of a frame so maybe someday when I get a either a larger machine or I start actually doing the files myself whereas right now I'm kind of limited to what my machine will like what it already has programmed and it will let me do and then just buying like uh shapes and designs off people or having them make it for me once I get software someday and like learn the craft of actually making an embroidery file to put on my machine which is just very expensive and time consuming um, and then I might be able to do like a split design where I can use a larger frame and just do two designs split it doesn't make sense if you're not in the embroidery world but anyways <laughs> oh, we're doing this so i just wanted to show you one i use a different stabilizer so i will get into that because i have not actually tested it yet um other than doing the design i haven't like ripped it off because it's a tear away i've never used a tear away i'm kind of nervous um but what i did and what i should have done uh before because remember that one design like literally the last video probably um that I put up where I did Randy's parents design for them with the whole football thing um I forgot to do this part which keeps my design centered <laughs> which is why I'd mess up so you know I wasn't doing that again but this is called a marking pen and watch this magic so this is where the center is and which is how I um, got my machine to line up. All you have to do, this is just water. It's not actually Kenra spray. You just spray it on and watch it disappear. Do you see it's disappearing right now? Magical. Magical. And guess what? Because this is 
a tearaway design. I don't think I'm gonna have to wash these anymore, which is gonna save me more time. And one of you beauties commented and told me, why don't you try to do, because I was complaining always about how long it takes to do embroidery. She said, why don't you try a, my mind just went blank. What was the word she used? She used the phrase assembly line process where, because I have two sets of my frames, so I could technically have two shirts ready. So um, I can, because with these, I'm actually uh, stabilizing, hooping it twice, because this is way too big of a design for what um, I could do, because I had to do that first, and then I had to do this one. Um, but assembly line, I can have two ready, so I had this one going on the Today's Vibe, and then I had the other one ready, so then right when this was done, I switched out the shirts and put in the other one so I didn't actually have to change the design on the machine, which takes time. It really just saved me about 10 minutes, but that's 10 minutes I wouldn't have had had I not done that. It's really not going to make sense to any of you um, unless you embroider. So yeah, I did assembly line this time. So thank you if you're the one that commented that because I am going to be doing that from now on. I kind of want to get another hoop so I can have three that I can do and then I can do those three again when I... doesn't matter. Anywho, so let's go ahead and snip this up and then we're going to do the tear away together. I'm a little nervous. I told you guys that. Let me bring you down. Okay, where are they there? If you hear that noise in the background, it is my heater because it is freezing back here. It's very cold outside. I want to say it's like 30s, but there's a frost on the ground. So this is obviously the Sunshine Happy collection. So she's just on a white, see that looks so good. Just on a white sweatshirt. It's just a very clean looking color and I like that I can use like literally any color with it. Threadwise. Let's turn her inside out and apparently you're literally just supposed to tear this so okay actually let me clean up some of this first before we tear it. Okay okay, okay. I had this is my obviously my first time using a tear away and also my first time doing two hoops in one design. And so I clearly put way too much of this on it. And the thing with this one is I got a sticky tear away. So what I was saying, I don't have to wash it anymore. It's because this should come off and not leave sticky residue like my spray does. Ooh, yeah, it does not. Oh my gosh, I love this. This just looks so much cleaner now. Cause like on the other one, I used to have to like leave some because when you cut it, you obviously can't cut it right to the edge. This is amazing. I will show you the ending result. Look at her, this is in a 2X right now. She's so cute. Oh. So today's vibe, this is the happy one. Um, I have the, I have like the graphics I want for the other ones, but I, I don't have the sweaters. Yeah, I just ordered them. They're coming tomorrow. I have a couple fun colors because I feel like I'm way too neutral right now and I just need some pops of colors. I'm doing some blues and a pink. So I have some prototypes of like, I think I showed you guys these already. I need to make some more because I'm not sure if I'm loving this stormy design and like don't bother with the colors because that obviously will change, but I don't know. I think I'm going to try. I have one that has three bolts of lightning. I'm going to see what that looks like. And I need to test out my rain and like partly cloudy one too. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. So I still have my cutaway stabilizers and I don't know what I'm going to use them yet for except for just doing my test designs because I really like this tear away. Like I am set at least for now on just using that. Um, so we're going to hoop this and then we're going to see what design we want to make. 
the one thing about tearaway especially the one i got where it's like pretty sticky which honestly is i like i need that because then i don't have to wash it which is going to save more time and energy both in my energy as well as our household energy bill so we're going to stick with it even though it is more expensive it just like looks a little more professional than when you cut around it and you have to like leave a little bit of like this behind that looks a little more homemade to me because if you look at stuff like you get from the store let's say um i don't have anything on me that's embroidered but like i i constantly look at that now like if i see embroidery at like the exporting goods or something i look to see what the underneath looks like and i'm pretty sure they use cutaway or not cutaway but tear away okay we have our hoops so i'm gonna go take her over to my machine. Let's see if I can angle you guys to come along with me. Don't mind my outfit. Let's do, do we want that one? Okay, let's do lightning. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, okay, so if we do it that way, is that going to be the biggest? 124 by 127, let's rotate it. 127 by one, it's the same size. Is it? It is. Interesting, I thought it would make it bigger one way or another. Now, okay, let's go back here. Okay, so I guess no matter what, we're going to be stuck like that. So I guess let's just rotate it because... That's why I put the shirt on, it's just easier for me. All right. Dun, 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 dun. And, and embroidery. I'm going down. We're gonna go, we're doing clay out. I don't wanna spend, let's see, what color do we wanna do? I, when I do tests, I never wanna use the color that I actually want, cause I wanna save that thread. So let's go pick up some ugly thread and then let's start her. Okay, we picked a burnt orange. It's not ugly, I just don't see myself using that in the near future, um, maybe in the fall time. So, this is a 35 minute design. Don't know where that, uh, And she's off. So I'm gonna leave you guys here and then I'll just show you guys what it looks like in the end. And my battery's gonna die again anyway. So I'll see you later tonight or tomorrow, depending. I need to go to the gym still. I need to do my hair because it's not happening. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, I think that's all for today. And then tomorrow it's all me by my lonesome while my husband's at work. So I'll definitely come back tomorrow. <laughs> see ya. Okay, here's the updated lightning compared to the old lightning. So it is bigger. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. It did mess up here. Don't mind that little area. That's supposed to have thread. Um, my thread got tangled in my sh machine and then I uh, obviously skipped that section when I went back. But yeah, I like this lightning bolt better, but I like how much bigger this one is. So we're gonna go with that one. Obviously different colors um, and not orange. I feel happy with that. Still need to decide what colors I want to do and like what color I want for that because it's going to be on a dark blue, but we'll deal with that tomorrow when the actual shirt comes in and we'll compare colors. All right, now I'm going. Bye. Good morning. I told you I'd be back and I am and we have two goals. The first goal, put away Christmas stuff. The second goal, get outside i already forgot what it was get outside get my packages open them and look at the new sweatshirts and the colors and i'm so excited and i haven't went outside yet because i always get a little nervous when asher's sleeping opening my door because like the front door is close enough to his room that i feel like he can hear it. i'm not sure if he actually can but you know when he's napping like nap is sacred time and you do as much as you can not to wake him up and that's what i am doing right now and ups delivered it probably like 20 minutes ago so it hasn't been out there that long and i trust no one's gonna steal it i also have a fun rash i'm pretty sure it's the new soap we got i got like milk and honey or whatever but it's like not showing up well just a bunch of red patchy bumps that have been there for 
since we got the soaps, <laughs> it has not went away. It's weird that this hand is worse than this hand. It always is like that too when I get rashes on my hands. It's strange. I'm not sure why that is. Anyways, I also did my hair like this. I never put it like back at a medium. I just, you're probably like, that looks exactly how you always do your hair. But I, I, normally I do really low bun. This one's like a medium bun and that's because like medium length. I don't know how to describe that. Um, Sarah's Day, if you guys watch any fitness, like if you're interested in fitness, like dabbling, getting into it, learning uh, weights and like different things that other than cardio, um, or if you're someone that just wants to not have to be creative and like follow someone else for a day, Sarah's Day on YouTube is by far, her and Whitney Simmons, the only two fitness influencers that I follow and I love them. That's a lie. There's a few others in there, but those are the two that like I will watch any video they put out, like fitness or not fitness related. Um, love, 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 love them. I actually got my sister hooked on Whitney, but she doesn't watch her YouTube. She watches Whitney's TikToks, which I will tell you, if you don't know who Whitney Simmons is, um, I'm not going to tell you to go look at her YouTube because honestly, she just hasn't really been doing anything on there. Um, she does daily TikToks and she is amazing. I go look at her YouTube too, like, but if you want to see like regular content from her, TikTok is her thing now. But if you want to see full video workouts, still go to her YouTube because that's the only reason I got into fitness is Whitney. Like Whitney got me comfortable. I don't want to say get into fitness, but like get into weightlifting, like stepping out of my cardio comfort zone and getting into actually doing weights, which is where I only want to be now. <laughs> so anyways, the long story of that was, I was watching a Sarah Say video today and she had her hair like this and then I was like, okay, I'll try it and put my hair up. Um, don't know if I love it. And it, it's not that much different than a low bun, except like the angle you have to put your hair kind of does something different with your head. Um, and I also didn't put my hairspray in because my hair's not going to stay like this because I, if I work out, which I want to, it just depends when Randy gets home, um, I want my hair up, up because when I go on the weight bench, like if I want to do anything on the weight bench or do um, anything with the barbell, I have to have my hair fully up so that this does not get in my way. Wow. All right. Did I need to tell you any of that? No. Um, so let's get on to Christmas first. Yeah, Christmas first. <sighs> oh, I did get an elf on the shelf uh, for Asher. I got it on clearance. So next year will be his first year with, I think his name is Scout. He was only $16. He's normally 30 something. He was a little too young this year to do it because obviously he still can't talk. Um, <laughs> so... And I don't think he really understands half the things I say. Next year, though, he'll be two and a half by Christmas. And this will hopefully make sense. <laughs> All right. The goal is to have every Christmas item in these boxes. I am not going to talk anymore. I am just going to do. And we're going to listen to some music. <laughs> watching this and wondering why I only have ornaments right on the top of my tree and why my tree looks like a complete absolute disaster. Let me just give you a little hint as to why. Is that showing up for you? Do you see this little dangling claw here? Um, that's Max's claw. Oh, and that's his fur. And guess what? That fur is lined on the entire tree and that's because he is the naughtiest cat that I have ever had the pleasure of living with. Um, and I continuously had to just keep moving ornaments up and up and that just obviously provoked him to climb higher and higher and um, yeah, needless to say, I have to rethink my ornaments next year. As if that wasn't a given from having him two Christmases now. Next year is going to be different. <laughs> And left me with the pieces Now I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us I can't focus I can't forget I've been thinking too much lately I just 
Okay, Ash already started opening it. I was gonna do an unboxing for you, but uh, because we had someone a little eager, you can already see he pulled out this bright pink sweatshirt. Now you cannot see colors extremely well on websites. I did not realize this was gonna be highlighter pink. I'm not mad about it. It's just, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for what I wanted. It's a really pretty color. Okay, I'm for sure keeping it. I only ordered, I think I only ordered four. I want to say about a medium, two larges, and an extra large in most things. Let me check. Two larges, medium, is that extra large? Yeah, so I think I told you guys I was going to down. <laughs> oh, I got this one for my niece. I was like, oh, this is so small. Um, I was going to not get as much anymore. Um, and that way I can, if people order online, I'll order like more as it comes. Cause these come in a day, um, which is crazy, but awesome. So that's not gonna like hinder me at all. But like for shows, I'm gonna only order really what I normally sell. Which honestly, it's just like larges and extra larges. So let's, thank you for helping. We got some whites. I have the highlighter pink. This blue is, lighter than I thought it was gonna be but it's still really pretty yes again you don't really know what you're gonna get when you get online color wise and this blue is really pretty too okay this was for my sad collection <laughs> um the whites for the sunshine the hot pink was for the partly cloudy but that almost seems too cheerful so I don't you know I'm gonna have to play around what other one? Oh, hi Wait, hold on. I'm confused. We have this blue. There's a lot of blues happening right now. But then there's this. Is this the same? Okay, I think, yeah, I think, is it the same? How many blues did I get? One, two, three different color blues. This is the stormy. This is rain. That light blue is sad. I guess that makes, that, that checks out. All right, okay, so I'm gonna go through those later um, just to make sure there's no issues with them. And then the only other things, that was all I got from the clothing shop. I ordered, I don't think I told you guys this, but at the Polaris show, um, oh my gosh, are you kidding? Stop, my cat is drinking my water. At the show on the way out, uh, one of my cup stands fell and broke. And so I don't have like a stand anymore. And so I got another cheap stand. Now, I keep saying like, obviously if I'm getting cheap stuff, you're probably not expecting much out of it, but I also don't wanna spend like $70 on a nice one. So I'm hoping this works. This is for a candle stand. So we'll put it together probably tomorrow and see um, if it's gonna work with wise. Cause you never know. I wanna say this was like 16 to $20 um, and that's cheap for like, a display stand um, but I also there was had mixed reviews some people said it was way too cheap and some people said it worked great so we'll see um yeah I have to get ready to go to the gym though I also need to feed this baby and uh, we have time to do everything I'm gonna need to start ordering tomorrow just so I always wait till like last minute being like I have so much time and I never do so we're gonna start that tomorrow I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And please leave me a comment so I can chat with you guys. I get lonely. I used to like, that was one of my favorite parts about uploading videos and I feel like I just don't get uh, any comments anymore to even try to interact. So if you do comment, I hopefully I will see it. Um, and I will definitely comment back. Okay, love you, bye.